Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another CD to play for you. Today's CD is Superman Story 23 from 1940. So let's get started. Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. And now, Superman. Last poem, Clark Kent has come to Stone House in the suburb of Brentwood with Elsie Beecham to investigate the mystery surrounding Elsie's father, Dr. George Haven Beecham, world-famous scientist and explorer. Recently returned from the jungles of South America, Dr. Beecham has hidden himself away with only a native servant for company and refused to see even his own daughter. Arriving at Stone House, Kent had left the car to investigate the house, only to be recalled by frantic blasts of an auto horn. Elsie, left alone in the car, had been attacked by a pair of vicious mastiffs and was in danger of her life. Fighting off the dogs, Kent turned to reassure the girl, only to be faced with a new terror. Listen. This giant man I saw through the trees right to see struck him. Probably only the shadows of the branch. No, I see him. I know I do. There's nothing there now. I can't see a thing. Look, do you see anything? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Not now. But I did. I know I did. Well, you heard the tom-tom beating, didn't you? Yes. And I saw the man, a gigantic man. He just stood there, peering. Well, he isn't there now. At least I don't think so. He is. I know he is. He's close to us, hiding something, stealing up on us. No, he's not, Miss Beecher. Now, look here. You stay here, and I'll have a look around. Oh, no. Don't go, Mr. Kent. Don't leave me alone again. I'll come, too. But I, I can't tell what we may run into. I don't care. I feel safer with you. Please. Well, come on. We leave the car right here. What are you going to do? First of all, we want to get into that house. It looks completely deserted, but I know someone's in it. My father, do you think? Maybe. I'm not sure yet. Hold my arm, Speechy. Wait. I thought I heard something. Mr. Kent. I did. The Tom Tom. Quick. Back in these bushes. Crouch down. There. Mr. Kent. Look out there in that patch of moonlight. Great Scott. There. That's what I saw, Mr. Kent. It is a giant. No, not a giant, Miss Beecher. It's a man. He's big, all right, but it's a man. A tremendous big black man. Is it? Who is it? Who is it? What's he doing? I'd like to know. I wonder if he's the one I heard walking in the house. Look, he's moving again. He's coming this way. We're in the shadow. He can't see us. Here, slip this way toward the house. Keep down as much as you can. He hurt. He's running, Mr. Kent. Quick. You hide in there, Miss Beecher. Back in that angle of the wall. I'll take care of this. Oh, no, no, he'll kill you. Go on, quick, stay out of sight. Don't move till I call. Quick, Miss Beecher, run. It's so dark, I can't see. Now then, the girl out of the way, Superman goes to work. I'll just give that giant a chance to try his voodoo on me. I'm coming this way, all right. Well, my friend, you're due for a shock. About three more steps and out we go. All right, you. So, what you doing? Never mind what I'm doing. What are you doing, and where did you come from? Uh, so, you come up, Bill Clark. I've been looking for you. I fixed you, white man. Look out. I'm giving you fair warning. Oh, you sure run. I catch you now. I'm not running. Oh, you want to fight, do you? Uh, I get you now. I cut you in half. Don't pull that knife. Knives don't bother me. I'm just going to fix you right off the ground. Uh, uh, go up over my, my head. Uh, you put me down. I kill you. You will have a chance. You're going up to the top of that tree. Hey, oh. Safer than outside just now. 
Maybe I can fasten what's left of that door behind us. Yes, look. All I broke was the lock. And there's a steel bar that drops right across it. There. There we are. No! Strike a pitch. I can't see a thing. Now, wait. Let me know I strike a match. You seem to be in some kind of a hole now. Uh, that's a little better. Not so much. Yes, you're right, Miss Beecham. We are in a hall. And this looks like the library or living room. Come on. Oh, here's a piece of candle, Mrs. Oh, good. Quick. Match is almost out. Yeah, it's the stuff. Yeah, now we can at least see where we're going. This, this, this dreadful place, Mr. Kent. It, it looks haunted. Yes, I, I admit I've seen more attractive places. That's a fact. What was that? Something creepy. Quiet. Kind of a creepy upstairs, Mr. Kent. Where do you suppose my father is? I don't know, Miss Beecham. I'm afraid he isn't here. Oh, why? What made you think that? I don't think anybody's here. And if there were, well, why haven't they turned up? They made enough noise breaking in. Listen. Here it is again. Mr. Kent, there's someone walking around in the room just above us. Beecham has vanished. 
there she saw it. What shadowy figure came stealing in through the half-broken door? And finally, what is the secret that Dr. Beecham has been guarding so carefully in Stone House? Guarding with his very life. Be with us again next time and follow the story. And remember, be sure to tune in the next thrilling installment of the amazing transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine. So that was Superman Story 23 for 1940. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.